Stand by. Good. Two. Th Three, five, two. Stand by. Yeah, I threw one high, I see that. Nice. Good. Just another quick video here. Do you need to practice with a shot timer? There's a lot of people that argue these things. And I will say that a shot timer gives you a point of reference. So if there's a drill and a par time, it can make you a better shooter. You start training to that standard. I'm never gonna argue against that. However, recently I've shot with somebody and we were just doing drills to practice efficiency, both in target selection and understanding like, hey, I have to pan this way. So it was two, two, transition, engage with a pistol, and it was fundamental building at that point. Now we shot with a guy we've never shot with before. He had a shot timer, and they were letting me use it earlier to do some time drills. But timing everything, if it doesn't, if it's not a standard drill, or if it's like, hey, let's change it up, let's do something different, timing that isn't necessarily gonna help you, I don't know. But there's a reason that standard drills exist with timers, and it establishes where you're at, what you need to improve on, and how you can speed up such as, hey, if I clear the holster faster, I can shave this much off, or I need to get faster on my reloads. And it does improve skills for you later down the line should you need to use them in a gunfight or self-defense situation or something like that. But timing everything is a little stupid. <laughs> like there's, there's these guys that set up some bullshit course. I set bullshit courses up all the time but I don't time them, I just run it and see if I can get it done. I'm gonna be honest with you, I record a lot of this stuff to see where I suck and where I can improve. It's not always for YouTube, all right? I'll see guys like, oh, put that on a timer and see what you do. What, my random ass shit that I set up? <laughs> or, <laughs> or if you have a course that your family bought you because they're in a crazy cult and you start timing things that aren't drills, I, I don't know. Like, you're never going to set that up again, so it's not like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Being efficient is good. Using tools to make you more efficient and polish things like your reloads, your draw out of the holster, your presentation on target, transitions, things like that. How do I run this standard drill that's in the industry standardized so it can develop skills? Great, got it. But you should not live on the timer. And the reason for that is there's no meep right before a gunfight. There's no shooter standby, none of that stuff, okay? So does it help you? Yes, but it can also put you in a mindset where everything is gonna be based off of that. And you can't shoot steel all the time. Sometimes you shoot targets that aren't steel, right? People aren't made of metal, turns out. <laughs> so unless you're fighting machines in the future, which actually may be a thing, then you know, hearing the report back from steel, and I've seen it where guys shoot nothing but steel and they shoot cardboard, they have that hesitation. They're like, whoa, what? It's good to train shooting paper targets, cardboard targets. If you have access to a shoot house, shooting those uh, t-shirted targets, it's a, it is a wild change. If you can go to a range like I go to and you have like targets you can set up or whatever, go ahead and throw a t-shirt on it. It completely changes your perception of impact. I've had some really unique opportunities in my career and in general to shoot a lot of different targets, both with some munitions and ammunition, which makes you a more well-rounded shooter. And I'm not gonna sit here and say I beast mode people. I have been humbled by the fattest, sloppiest dude that shoots competition all the time. Like they're fast out of the holster, their reloads are faster than me and all this other stuff. And I'm just aghast at how this soggy couch potato just dominated me in, in front of everybody. But, <laughs> I know that's not everything, like not being on the shots. And this isn't like me trying to make excuses for my performance and getting beast moded by a donut. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying though is it's not all shot timers. It's not all 
make sure you're on the box before you shoot or hold your gun at this particular angle when you're moving there's a there's a large difference between being on a shot timer doing stuff for the sake of performance versus you know actual practical applications what I would suggest is use the shot timer drills to speed up your fundamentals, speed up your reloads, holster draws, and get good that way. And then see how you can take that and apply it into that world. Don't be the dude that lives at the flat range and thinks that, oh, just because I ran this in, in one minute and 25 seconds means I can do this in real life. Probably not. But if you use it to polish and enhance your fundamentals, it'll give you an advantage should you be in a real fight. But you got to watch out for those rangeisms, like constantly ejecting your magazine and checking the capacity, or constantly handjacking your gun, or moving in funny ways that, <laughs> that won't work in practical application. So keep the flat range stuff, the timer stuff at the range, but take the enhancements it gives you to your technique, and then you know have days where you run serious stuff that's not on a timer. You know, make a scenario for yourself or do different shoots, apply tourniquets, you know, all these important things that you're going to need to learn to be effective outside of the flat range. Do all that stuff and you'll be a much better shooter. So hopefully this video made sense. I know some people are like diehard range dudes and they live and die by that beep. And then I know some guys are diehard tactics dudes. I didn't do this in the Marine Corps, so I ain't doing it here. There's a happy medium to be had and things you can take from both to enhance your skills. So you just gotta know, just like anything, you have to know when to turn it on and turn it off. So that's my recommendation. Thanks for watching. Take care out there.